Hey, so I wanted to talk about some of the things I've been purchasing after I retired. When I was firing it up, saving money to retire, I was like the cheapest person ever. Not ever, but like very close to, you know, as like as realistic as possible. But here are some of the things that I like splurged on because now I spend a lot of money actually because um, I, I like made more than what I need for firing and I just want to use it. So first thing is, yeah, you guys see this chair? I have my old chair in the background, this, this green chair. This chair is like maybe 15, 20 years old or something. It like broke, let me, yeah, you see this thing here, like the mesh broke out over there. But then I got this chair. Some of you guys may recognize this. It looks like a plain office chair, but this chair costed, or cost, is it cost or costed? Someone corrected me on that on one of the other videos I made. And they're like, don't say costed, it's cost. But apparently you could use both. One's British, one's American. So the American one is cost. But the chair cost like two grand. Oh no, <laughs> dude, it hurts, man. It hurts spending two grand on a, on a freaking chair. Like the other one probably costs like a hundred bucks tops right and i used to sit in a chinese restaurant chair like for six years or something when i was firing it up holy cow like yeah the chair is comfortable it's the herman miller embody chair a lot of people find it popular you either get the aaron or the embody i don't know how to say them properly but is it worth that much i don't know people say like oh your posture is so important and you'll save you money in the future, because you won't need back surgery, right? But who actually knows? You know, every body is different. Every body, every body. But is it actually better for my back? I mean, it has to be better than my old chair. My old chair was falling apart. So I had some friends come over. They wanted to game on my computer. They sat in the chair. They're like, holy cow, you actually sit in this thing? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and they, they, they couldn't sit in it. Like, I mean, they did, but they were so uncomfy in it because the cushions were all worn out and everything. The mesh in the back is like broken. I was telling them like, you know, I actually used to sit in like one of these restaurant chairs, right? Like this is already an upgrade for me. And they, they couldn't believe it. But um, I bought this chair because one friend I have, he, he gets a lot of like chair sponsorships, not sponsorships, but like he's got like three or five free chairs. They're all like the gaming chairs, you know, and he doesn't sit in any of them because they're not as comfortable as his Herman Miller. And even if he gets a chair sponsor, he's like, nope, using my Herman Miller. It's like he doesn't want a chair sponsor because it's just that comfy for him. And I was like, all right, if someone's saying that, I got to I gotta get the chair. And again, the whole like back surgery thing, like it probably should be worth it, right? If it actually does do it. We don't know if it actually does. People say it helps, but we don't actually know because again, every person is different. Every body is different. And overall, it's like, it's pretty comfy. So I went to the Herman Miller store in New York and they have like this little demo store and I bought this chair. It took like three weeks or like five weeks actually to come. And then I went to the store. I tried out the Aaron actually. So, cause I ordered this online, but I, I was just in the neighborhood. Right. And then I noticed the Aaron was a lot more comfy. <laughs> it was a lot more comfy than the Embody chair, but I, I didn't switch my purchase because Apparently, a lot of people like it. People swear by both of them, right? But yeah, hopefully it helps me out. But like, I guess health is something that I've been spending a lot more on. Uh, another thing I'm going to be spending money on is LASIK. LASIK, I don't know, but I don't like wearing glasses. It's a huge hassle. And there is this streamer from a while ago. His name's Raynad. Some of you guys may have heard of him. He said, LASIK is one of the only ways to boost your stats IRL. That's what he said, something along those lines. And I was like, yeah, that is true. But I didn't really buy into it before. But everyone who gets it, they say it's the best thing they've ever done in their lives. Like all these glasses wearers are like, yeah, I just don't need glasses anymore. And you could apparently see sometimes, depends on the person and depends on the surgery, right? You could see in 2015, which is even better than 2020, and that's pretty cool, right? You essentially become superhuman if you pay the fee. And hopefully it works out. I go for my surgery next week for that. Like, kind of nervous. Maybe this is my last video because I won't be able to see anymore. Because then I can't edit if I can't see, right? So even if I could record videos if I'm blind, I can still edit. Or I can't edit. So I'd have to somehow communicate with an editor to do exact things, which is just too impossible, right? 
man, it would really suck if I lost my vision. But the upside is pretty decent, right? So I have like humongous downside and probably like 0.01% chance of it reaching that, maybe even less than that. And then I have like a pretty decent upside. Is that worth it? Maybe. Ah, oh, man, it's so hard. You're either living too bad of a life to be able to afford this surgery or you're living too good of a life to risk getting the surgery. It's, it's so, so hard. I, I asked my uncle, I was like, hey, do you know any, he's a doctor, he's a dermatologist. He's like, uh, I asked him, I was like, do you know any doctors who do the surgery that you recommend? And he's like, oh no, I, I never got it and don't know many um, ophthalmologists, I think they're called. And he told me like, I'm not getting it though. And I never wanted it because there's not much value in a blind dermatologist. And I was like, there's not much value in like blind any profession. There are very few professions where blind people can actually work. It's really sad. Like some people are born that way and they just, you could still do things. I'm not saying you can't do things, but it's very limited. And man, that's so sad. <sighs> but yeah, I'm getting that surgery. So like I set myself up back, like I think that one costs like four or five K. I forget. So that's just like 6K down the bag, you know? Oh God, that hurts. <laughs> That'd be like more discretionary spending than I would do in like two years before. <sighs> There's some years I spent like, uh, what was it? Around like 24K on housing. So like 2K per month. And then on the total for the year, I'd spend like 26K. So I'd spend 2K discretionary. How crazy is that? <laughs> oh my god but now i'm just spending this much that only happened one year the other years were a little higher but like this 6k is more than like or is like the entire budget for some of the worst years i've had i think the worst year i did was like maybe 32k or something like that so that means i had like 8k of discretionary spending this is 6k the chair and the surgery holy cow <sighs> Can I deduct the chair? Is that like a health expense? Especially if you're buying one this expensive? Probably not. What if I make a video on it? Can I deduct it after that? Maybe. Probably not. I'll, I'll ask the accountant or something. But man, that's what I've been spending money on. It's like health stuff. Also, like, uh, do I really count buying a camera for YouTube as like an expense? Probably not because it's like for the business, right? But like the eye surgery and the chair, that's like for me, you know? Those are the big things I spend money on. I guess eating out a lot, I do that a lot more now. A lot of it's for social reasons because people just like to go out. That's why people don't have any money. They like spend their entire paychecks. Like one person in my friend group, um, I told him about my whole retire early thing. And then right after that, he, he's like buys a $6 coffee. And I'm just like, <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can either enjoy $6 coffees every day or you can not have to work, you know, and then people are always jealous of me not working, but then they don't make the sacrifices needed to get to this position. Very interesting stuff. Then this other person said like, saving money is a scam and we should just spend it. And I'm just like, I don't think that's a top tier financial advice, you know, <laughs> granted, like everyone's different. Everyone's got different needs, but this person also complains about working and not having enough money and why things are so expensive. And it's just like, you could move past that if you if you save money you know I, I don't know crazy stuff crazy stuff but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on like type of stuff i've been spending on it's like either stuff for the business stuff that makes me more money or like health stuff like and better food better social so it's like yeah i'm eating out a lot more spending more when i eat out a lot it's like it's good i have a little bit of a buffer between my fire zone so i could like have some like for fun spending money you know um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. What, what would you guys spend money on? Is there something I'm missing? Like I'm using my next upgrade is I have this plastic pitcher that I use and it's BPA free or whatever. Right. But people say not to use plastic. So maybe I could get like a steel one or something or a glass one. Maybe that's an upgrade I can get, but like, is that something I should be worried about? Like I, I drink water from a Brita like I have a Brita in my, on top of my sink or whatever. So it filters the tap water, but like some people don't like tap water. I don't think I'm at the money level yet where I can just like buy only bottled water. But then like, what about the environment? You know, does that even matter? Yeah. Like, just let me know though. Like what, what should I buy that like actually enhances my life? 
and is worth it on like after you fired, you know? So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I see you guys later. Haha. <laughs> see you guys later. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous for the surgery, but hopefully it just goes smoothly like everyone else's except for the, what's the failure rate? Failure rate of LASIK. It is apparently less than 1%, which is a lot. 1% is a lot. So if it's like 0.9%, is there anyone with like the actual number? Ah, not that I can find off a quick Google search. I'll, I'll let you guys go. All right. I'll, I'll see you guys later.